Okay, YouTube family, let's talk about it. It's your favorite girl. Okay, guys, it is time to be a messy. Who is ready? For some messy news and who is we talking about today child we talking about Halle Bailey all right so apparently our girl took to the insta stories to let us know that she's working on some new music and I'm hoping she is not singing about that weird head shaped DDG please don't say nothing about him all right because at the end of the day we is happy y'all two done separated he ain't mean you no good from the beginning he had ulterior motives from the beginning and he was already feeling some type of way that you was more popular than him you know these men nowadays they they weak-minded they want to be bitches you know they want to be like women <laughs> Instead of being a man. And you know, a lot of the problems that they had in their relationships, I'm going in their relationship, I'm gonna say allegedly, is because of him. It was him and his damn insecurity. I'm gonna say allegedly. He was insecure. He didn't feel good about his goddamn self. I see the people in the comments did not care for his music. You know, he's been doing this YouTube thing for a while now, and it's like, what's next, DDG? What's next? You know, we got the mermaid doing the mermaid. You got her doing the color purple. You know, she putting out music. She's multitasking. So one thing about a man, when he find a woman that he wants to keep in place, you know, just in case, you know, and what I mean in place, a lot of these men will trick a woman and get them pregnant. All right. Just to be able to have access to them when they want to. Now, Diddy G knows Hallie is the perfect woman for any man. Hallie gives me the personality that she could be with any man. Although she's not going to choose any man, but she can be with any man. And he knows that. He knows she has the qualities of being a wife. All right? But he feels being in a relationship and having a kid is putting him in the category where nobody's really checking for him no more. So what he has to do is break away from this girlfriend, boyfriend title in order for him to feel like he's going to go out and serve his purpose. But what DDG have to understand is he don't tarnish his brand already. These people in the comments do not like you, DDG. And it's because you intentionally got Haley Bailey pregnant. And then now you want to take it, take it to the Instagram, to the internet streets to let everybody know y'all separated. Y'all separated because of your insecurities. That's why. And now we got Hallie in the studio singing a heartbreak song. And it better not be about his weird head shape. Now, Hallie, why you didn't pay attention to his head shape? Look, ladies, when y'all dealing with these men, look at the shape of their damn heads. <laughs> And he has a weird head shape. So we already knew he was going to be a problem because of the shape of his goddamn head. But she didn't know because I ain't going to lie. DDG look like he, he got that thing thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, DDG probably was her first everything. So y'all got to understand, it's going to be a little hard for her because she's in her early 20s. DDG damn near 40. So... You know, it's going to be hard for her to transition. But when she do, baby, she's going to be okay. Y'all drop down in the comments. So how do y'all feel about Haley Bailey working on new music? Do y'all think she's writing a song about her relationship with DDG Girl? Because we don't care. Now, let's talk about DDG some more. So, apparently, Bobby Offoff, I think that's how you pronounce her last name, has a podcast. I could be wrong. I don't know if it's a podcast or sure what it is. But for whatever reason, she loves interviewing black men. <laughs> she looking for a, a brother. <laughs> so DDG was on there. And he had the nerve to be giving her advice, telling her she needs to be single for a while. DDG, take your own goddamn advice. <laughs> how you going to tell somebody they need to be single? <laughs> how about you be single? How about that? All right? So he asked Bobby, is she into black dudes? And she talk about, she don't know, girl, yes, she is. You, we, we already know you into them. We already know. Because allegedly, she was in a relationship. I'm going to say allegedly. Allegedly, you know, I had to say it three times. <laughs> that she was involved with Funny Marco. <laughs> I don't know how true it is, but <laughs> that was word on the streets. All right? Not to mention, she's a divorced woman. 
with two kids. And she had the nerve to be sitting over there talking about, I don't want to be 30 and single. Girl, bye. <laughs> you 27 and single <laughs> with two kids. So you got to make sure, girl, whatever man that you bring in your life is the right man for you and your situation that you got going on, ma'am. You're not a single woman, ma'am. You have two kids. You is not single. So technically, ma'am, you're not single. You got two kids. And she's talking about she don't want to be single. Girl, get your life together. Get your, <laughs> You know what? But then again... She be on the internet streets trying to pretend it, you know, trying to pretend like she's a wholesome, quiet girl. And she's probably off the damn chain. Now, I don't know if she requests, I, I don't know if she filed for divorce or if he filed. Either way it goes, <laughs> she ain't need to be with him or he ain't need to be with her. Because, baby, if she acts anything how she acts when she's in the internet streets, child, something ain't right. <laughs> Y'all drop down in the comments. What y'all think about the interview that DDG did with Bobby? How do y'all feel about him telling somebody that they need to be single? Girl, DDG, you should have said that to your damn self before you got our girl highly pregnant. And I believe in everything in me that he got her pregnant to have access to her. That's what these men do. These men will make you fall in love Say everything that you want to hear. And then when you get pregnant, they secretly say, mission accomplished. Because you know why? Because once you push out that baby, he already know whenever he want to come back, he can come back. And that's all that was. So now he's going to be out on tour talking about Halle. Talk about he will never want to be with nobody else. He don't want to be in no relationship. So he's trying to tell y'all he's down to F, but he's not going to be with you. Because he already know. <laughs> Holly is for him. And I don't care what nobody said. Y'all drop down in the comments. What y'all think about this whole situation? Holly, girl, I like you, girl. Come on and do an interview with me. You know, I got a small channel. You know, I'm I'm trying to come up a little bit, girl. Can you come talk to me? Can you slide in my DMs or send me an email, Shana Crazy Life at Yahoo? And let me know what's really going on. I want to know what, what was why did y'all break up? What was it? Did you break up with him? Because I, I feel it in my spirit. She broke up with him. Because I know she ain't let nobody with a weird head shape break up with her. I know you lie. <laughs> but anywho, guys. <laughs> you know, this is this is messy news. A part of messy news is just being messy. That's all it is. Being messy. Draw down in the comments if y'all think Hallie's going to take him back. I just, I, she's going to take him back. We just don't know when. If they even broke up, because some people say it's a publicity stunt. Who knows? You know, after they break up, she working on music, he working on music, child, bye. But anywho, y'all, drop down in the comments. 